Count on LEX 18 News. Coming up, many students in the state were given the chance for a do-over after a year of learning online, but how many are trying to take advantage of it? LEX 18 is going in-depth tonight with a breakdown of the numbers. Plus, search crews in Knott County continue looking for this three-year-old girl who wandered away from her grandparents' home. And the controversy over a social media photo posted by Kentucky State Police, why some people took issue. This is LEX 18 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Nancy Cox. And I'm Larry Smith. Thank you for joining us at 6. Earlier this year, lawmakers passed Senate Bill 128, also known as the School Redo Bill, after a year of virtual learning due to COVID. Now the numbers are in for exactly how many families have put in a request for that opportunity. And it got us wondering how those requests compare to overall student population in the second largest school district in the state, Fayette County. LEX 18's Christiana Ford spent a lot of time looking into this today. She goes in depth to take a closer look at the numbers. State Senate Bill 128 allows for parents to request their student retake their current grade level because of different circumstances from the pandemic. And it not only applies to academics, but also athletics. Thousands of students across Kentucky are struggling to learn during a pandemic. Virtual learning has been a nightmare. And thousands are requesting a do-over, including Sheila Lucero for her son Samuel, who has Down syndrome. A friend of mine who's in Paris that's in the school system said, I heard blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, that would, that would take such a huge stress off of me if that could happen. Looking at the numbers, 523 students requested a redo in Fayette County Public School District, 167 at the elementary level, 114 at the middle school level, and 242 at the high school level. While that may seem like a lot, those numbers are just over 1% of Fayette County Public Schools' total school population. We didn't really know what to expect. Um, this is... Our community has never lived through a pandemic before. We've never had virtual learning to the scale that we had before. And, um, and we certainly had never given families this type of an option. Early on, the Kentucky Department of Education estimated that school districts would see less than 2% of families take this option. But it does leave families like Lucero's wondering what it means for them. I'm hoping Fayette County will, will look at all the kids' needs because I, I can guarantee you almost any special need parent feels like their kids need this do over year. Let Them Learn has been criticizing virtual learning and pushing for this redo since the beginning. For Greg Prince, what this means is that their voices were heard. That was a, you know, our, <clears throat> our kind of worry from the beginning of this was, was children getting left behind. I mean, we had a lot of neighboring states that, that basically never closed their schools. Now our kids are going to have to compete against those kids to get into college. For taxpayers, it doesn't really change anything. Most are students who were already going to attend school with the exception of the seniors choosing to return for another year. These are our kids. So the students who have requested for the additional year are already factored into our staffing formula. There was a, a chance for seniors to come back and repeat a year, but there were very few of those requests. The next step is the school board for final approval. It is a local decision and they have until June 1st to decide to accept either all requests or none. Christiana Ford, LEX 18 News. We also went in depth looking at other school districts in Central Kentucky to track what percentage of their students have asked for a do over. In Clark County, 65 students have requested a do over year or 1% of the student population there. Scott County has had 197 requests, which is less than 2% of the student population. And there have been 41 students request a do over in Bourbon County or about 1% of the student population. Of course, many students returning to the classroom as new cases of COVID-19 started to drop in the state. And today, the latest numbers continue to suggest that we're on a plateau when it comes to the virus. 710 new cases of COVID-19 recorded in Kentucky today, along with 10 new deaths. And our positivity rate is up a little, just a, a little bit again to 3.57%. So far, more than 1,837,000 people have been vaccinated in Kentucky. That's about 41% of our total population. 